Gamers, I have a fun new challenge to do. Peck and I are going to play the Would You Rather Challenge. Peck! Peck? You there? You working on a cool new invention in here somewhere? Aw, I guess he's not here. Oh, Peck, there you are. That's not Peck! Ah! Give me that yummy gummy. I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. Please don't be who I think it is. Please don't be Robo Combo. Gus, why are you here? I'm looking for Peck. What are you doing here? Something evil? I can't remember. But I do know Peck is at a science fair out of town. Oh, I really wanted to play a game with him. A game? Yeah. I like games. Do you want to play with me? At least I would have a reason to be here. Woohoo! Okay, round one. Would you rather spend 24 hours in the hottest place on Earth or 24 hours in the coldest place on Earth? <sighs> uh, my metal wasn't made for this ice. I'll start to malfunction. I'd rather go to the hottest place on Earth because nothing can melt this perfect exterior. I'd pick hot too. At least we can play Floor's Lava. <laughs> wait, wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Good thing you're made of metal. Not fair. All right, round two, Robo. Would you rather go flying or go swimming? Absolutely not. Water and robots do not go together. I would much rather go flying, obviously. D excuse you. I'm flying here. Um, do I have to pretend I'm a gator for this round? Hiya, little gators! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> no, Robo! But that was so funny! We're here because... For round three! I wanted to find out, would you rather eat real food or gummy food? You guys know what I would prefer. Wow! Both of these are useless to me! You get energy from this? Well, gummies aren't the healthiest food, but they are my favorite snack! Well, I'm a robot! You got any batteries? Hi, Shook! You didn't introduce me to your new friend! Hi, Mama! This is Robo Combo! He's usually evil, but today he's okay. Oh, good! I'm all for turning over a new leaf. I don't eat leaves either. Uh, Shug, is your friend broken? No, <laughs> he's just a robot. This round should be fun. Yes, gaming. I told you I like games. Well, if you had to choose, would you rather play video games or would you rather pretend to play? I can't compute. How is this pretend play? <laughs> what is that? <gasps> it's a giant 3D version of me! Make ah! it stop! Uh, video games! I'd rather play video games! Uh, uh. <sighs> okay, for our final round. Please don't make me run from another giant version of you again! <laughs> no, I'd rather play video games than run from a giant me, too. <laughs> Even though it was kind of fun. I have to admit, it was kind of fun. See, I knew you could have fun, Robo. Okay, for our final round, I've always wondered, would you rather be evil with Packrat <laughs> or be evil with... Dark Titan! Dark Titan! <laughs> um, Robo, 
Evil mode activated. Uh oh! I must retrieve evil object for Dark Titan! Ow, oh, rats. Peg's not gonna be happy about that. Oh, hey, Gus. I just got back from the science fair. What are you doing? Whoa! What happened to my beautiful ceiling? It, it was Robo! He just blasted through the ceiling! What was Robo doing in my lab? Something evil, I think. He didn't tell me. No, get that robot! Wait, you were in here with him? I was looking for you, and then, and then... Uh, you know what? It's a long story. Well, you can tell me all about it while you help me patch up the ceiling. Okay, that's fair. Well, that's all for now, little gators. I gotta go help fix the ceiling. I'll see you next time. I leave for one afternoon and come back to this. What's a penguin to do? Hi, little gators. Today I'm playing the What's in the Box Challenge with my friend Peck. Hi, everyone. Mama is going to bring a box with a hidden object inside. And we have to use our five senses to figure out what's in the box. And whoever guesses the correct answer first gets a point. The first person who gets three points wins a grand prize. That's right, you two. The winner of this challenge will win this mountain of fresh fruit. Wow! <laughs> wow. That's so that looks cool. delicious. For the first round, you have to use your sense of touch and tell me what's inside the box. Good luck. Let's do this, Peck. Oh, boy. Hmm. What is that? Oh, no. I can't take my fins out. Ah! Uh, are you okay, Peck? Oh, wait. Uh, I was just pulling on my own fin. <laughs> 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 it does feel sticky and slimy. Oh! Is it slime? That's correct, Peck. That is slime. Way to go! That was spectacular! You got the first point! Oh, gosh. Don't worry, boys. I'll clean that up after our game. For this round, you have to use different senses to figure out what's inside these boxes. Whoa! What's that weird-looking cone sticking out from the box? And where are we supposed to put our hands? Look at this, Gus. It looks like some sort of listening device. I think we're supposed to place our ears close to it so we can hear what's inside. Oh, I think you're right, Peck. Let's try it. Uh, I have no idea what it could be. This sounds familiar. <gasps> They're baby chicks, Mama! That's right, Gus. The answer is baby chicks. Way to go, Shug. You're on the board. Woohoo! How could you possibly know those were baby chicks? My neighbor has chickens. I hear them chirping all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just like before, you have to use a different sense to figure out what's inside the box. But I'm not going to tell you which one. Good luck. Well, I don't see any holes big enough for our arms to go through. And I can't hear anything through these tiny holes here. Oh, I know. We can use our eyes to look inside, Peck. Oh, popsicles. You're right, Gus. Let's check it out. Hmm. I see something white with black spots. Well, I see something black with white spots. Wait a minute. Did someone drink combo and put him in a box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I think I know. Is it a soccer ball? Great job, Peck. It is a soccer ball. Looks like Peck is up two to one. Nice one, Peck. How did you figure it out? I was playing soccer with Alpha Laxa last week, and I remember the black and white pattern on the ball. Looking good. Nice work, guys. Y'all used your sense of sight to see what was inside the box. This round is going to get harder, boys. There aren't any holes for touching, hearing, or seeing. Good luck. We can't touch, hear, or see. What sense is left for us to use, Peck? Well, there are a total of five senses, so that means we can only smell or taste this time. Wait, Peck, what's that on the top of the box? It looks like a cutout. I think we're supposed to smell what's ever inside the box. Good idea, Gus. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, 
It smells really good. It sure does, Peck, and I know exactly where it's from. These are flowers from our backyard, aren't they, Mama? Great job, Gus. You're right. These are flowers. Now you're both tied, two to two. Nice one, Gus. Thanks, Peck. This round is the toughest one, and we'll decide the grand prize winner. I'm sure you already know, but you'll have to use your sense of taste to figure out what's inside this box. So, close your eyes, boys. Are you ready? We're ready. ready. Well, what are you all waiting for? Go on, then. <laughs> wow, this food is, tastes really fruity. You're right, Gus. It is really sweet. But where have I tried this food before? Um, I'm going to guess it's a strawberry. And I'm going to guess it's mango. Those guesses are both really good. But the correct answer is... Strawberry! Yeah! Way to go, Gus. You win the challenge. I won! Thanks, Mama. Congratulations, Gus. You did it. Thanks, Peck. You did a great job, too. Here's your grand prize, Gus. This mountain of fresh fruits. Whoa! Get in here and help me out, Peck. You got it, Gus. Yummy! Wow, little gators! That what's in the box challenge was so much fun! Mama made it even harder by making us use our five senses. First, we used our sense of touch and found something really sticky. Peck and I both got scared because we didn't know what it was. But then Peck figured it out and got the first point by guessing it was slime. Then for round two, we had to use our sense of hearing. We put our ears next to the cone shape and we could hear that it was BB Chicks inside tripping away. Gus got the answer right and tie up the game at one point each. For round three, we had to use our sense of sight and peek inside the box. We saw something that was white and black, which turned out to be a soccer ball. Peck guessed that one right and was back in the lead. Round four got tougher because we had to use our sense of smell. We took a deep breath and it ended up being flowers inside the box. And just like that, the game was tied up again. Finally, round five was the hardest because we had to close our eyes and use our sense of taste to figure out what was inside the box. Peck and I both took big kid bites. After a few chews, I guessed it was strawberries and won the Mountain of Fruit Grand Prize! Wow, little gators! We had lots of fun playing today's What's in the Box Challenge, didn't we? Yeah, Gus! We sure did! Congratulations, Gus! Looking good! Well, Peck and I are going outside to play with these baby chicks! Thanks for watching and see you next time! Bye! Bye. Hiya, little gators! For Easter, Alpha Alexa challenged me to do a What's in the Box challenge! That's right! And don't forget the catch! Oh, yeah! We have to use our five senses to figure out what's in the box! My cat senses are never wrong! We'll see about that! Mama's going to bring us a box with a hidden object inside! And the first one to answer correctly gets a point! The first one to three points gets a prize! Right, Mama? That's right! This Easter basket will go to whoever wins! Oh, awesome! Woohoo! Okay, kiddos! For round one, you have to use your sense of touch. Good luck! Okay! This is gonna be fun! Ah! Ah! What is it? It bit me! Oh, don't worry, Suge. It wasn't a bite. I'll give you a hint. It's not alive. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try again. Feels prickly. Yeah, like, like it has spikes? I think it could be a cactus. Oh, oh, I think it's a pineapple. You got it, Gus. It is a pineapple. Looking good. The first point goes to you. Great job. Yeah, I hope I can keep it up for this next round. 
Good luck trying to guess this next one. You already used the sense of touch. Now you have to use a different sense for this one. Hmm. There's touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Wait, I can hear something. <gasps> Me too. So we have to use our sense of hearing. Hmm. It sounds familiar. But where have I heard this sound before? Oh, I know this sound! This is a common sound in the swamp. The swamp has a bunch of these insects living there. Ooh, what insect is that? Crickets! That's right! I do love the sound of crickets. It reminds me of home sweet home. Now you have two points on the board. Amazing hearing, Gus! <laughs> Thanks, Alpha! Okay, I need a point on the board. No more Mrs. Nice Cat. Here are the boxes for round three. Keep in mind, you can't touch or hear what's inside. Maybe we taste it. No, look! There are multiple holes for us to look through. We have to see what's inside. Oh, you're right! We have to use our eyesight. Let's take a look. Hmm. I see a bunch of buttons. Oh, I can spot this from anywhere. That's a gaming controller. Great guess. You got it right. Alpha awesome. Wow, I'm happy you got it. I had no clue what it was. It was only easy because I've been gaming as long as I can remember. <laughs> that means Alpha has one point and Gus has Two points. I'm catching up. Not for long. I'm going to get this one. Wait, what sense are we supposed to use for this? We already did touch, hearing, and sight. We only have taste and smell left. I think I do smell something. You do? Smells sweet. Oh, it's gummies, isn't it? It's not gummies. It's more of a sugary smell, like, uh, like cookies. Is it sugar cookies? That's right. It's my famous Easter sugar cookie recipe. Oh, rat! I should have known that. Maybe I was just smelling the gummies in my pocket. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself there, Shug. You should save your sense of taste for this final round. Since you both have a score of two points, whoever wins this round gets the Easter Basket Prize. Good luck. Taste buds, don't fail me now. Hmm. Right, so you both win! <laughs> and there's enough in this Easter basket for both of you. Enjoy! <laughs> Thanks, Mama! Thanks so much! Wow, look at it! It's full of so much cool stuff! And maybe it will help me get the taste of lemon out of my mouth. <laughs> Even I enjoyed this challenge. These pictures are definitely going on the fridge. Mama! I just couldn't resist. These are memories in the making. Those are great pictures. <laughs> <laughs> look at our faces. We look so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had so much fun. Thank you for challenging me, Alpha. Of course, I had fun too. We have an Easter basket to dig into, little gators. I hope you have a great Easter. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Ahoy, me gators. Avasti. The last of the cursed treasure. Should I spend it? Or should I save it? Spend it. Wait, no. Save it. How'd you even get it? I got it by winning a challenge against a pirate ghost. That sounds like an epic story. It was an epic story. Tell us the story.
Aw, oh, you guys don't want to hear that story. Yes, we do! We really, really do! Wait, yo ho ho and shiver me gummies! And, uh, hoist the plank! It's Cannonball into this tail! So, here I was, sailing the forbidden ocean. It was just me and the sea. <coughs> oh, <laughs> and Peck. Did you forget I was in the story? Of course not. <laughs> I wouldn't forget my best mate. But you did forget your costume. <laughs> I didn't forget. Mama was just uh, washing it for me. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I take my pirating seriously. Almost as serious as science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, while we were sailing, we crashed into an unknown island. The island was empty, so there was nothing to do but explore. That's when we saw it. <gasps> saw what? Yeah, what did you find? The treasure. I was just waiting out there in the open. Oh, yeah. Like someone dug it up just for us. And just as I went to touch it, poof, a pirate ghost appeared. I guess was so scared. You were scared too. Oh, yeah, I was. <laughs> and this is the part where the pirate ghost told us, Arg! If ye want the treasure, you must first break the curse. And do you know what we told the pirate ghost? Bring, Bring it, it on. on! So the pirate ghost challenged us to stay on the island for 24 hours. And if we could do that, the curse would break and we could have the treasure. It sounds really easy, right? Right? Wrong! Because, just like that, it was <laughs> night time! And it got quiet. So we did what any normal person would do when you're stuck in a dark, scary place for 24 hours. We looked for snacks! <laughs> we weren't exactly successful. I asked everyone. The crabs didn't help us. <laughs> The turtles didn't either. Oh! Even the birds didn't want to help. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Those birds really didn't like us. They chased us all across the beach. Oh, it was a good thing we found this nice warm cave to hide in. Until we heard a sound. And we knew. We weren't in there alone. Because the clicking got louder. And faster! Until we saw it was an angry army of crabs! And I wasn't gonna be crab food. So we went to the only place that was safe. The pirate ship. We were so hungry. And so tired. We fell asleep the second we got there. But the story doesn't stop there. As soon as we fell asleep, it was morning. Yeah. And the pirate ghost was back. He snuck aboard and woke us up. I was having a good dream too. The pirate ghost brought us the treasure because we broke the curse. Woohoo! <laughs> You guys completed the challenge! That's right! We survived 24 hours on an unknown island! <laughs> so what are you gonna do with the final piece of your treasure? You know what? I think I'll save it. Good idea! I spent all of mine on my inventions. At least you have a souvenir. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's all for now, little gators! I'll see you next time! Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, little gators! Do you smell something like... Gummies!
electric gus! <laughs> and you fell for our prank! <laughs> Wait! Who's pranking me? It's us! <laughs> yeah, Emma and Kate! <laughs> okay, you caught me! You can let me out now! Nope, you have to escape! Escape? How? There's some kind of force field here! This is the 1000 Mystery Button Challenge! <laughs> yeah, that means you've got to press the mystery buttons and only one magic button will let you escape! Oh, rats! I guess here goes nothing! <laughs> Wrong button! Oh no! I need to be big again! I guess I'll try this one! again. Let's see what happens if I press this one. Whoa! Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Uh-huh. 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 Whoa! Whoa! Um, did I escape? Was that the right button? is a good one. Oh, you'll like this one, Gus. Gummies! Can I press the button again? <laughs> no, silly. The buttons only work once. Okay, I still need to find a way to escape. So, let's see. Which button have I not pressed? Oh, here's one! Um, nothing happened. Did the button not work? <laughs> no, it worked! <laughs> Look at your hands! My hands? Whoa! I'm completely yellow! Oh, Mom is not going to be happy about this. Oh, rats! Ah, whoa! Flying! Ah, is it easy? Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I'm normal again! Yay! But you still have to escape! Right. Uh, okay. I gotta complete the challenge. I hope it's this one. Oh! <laughs> cool! Maybe we can spin this up next popsicle truck. That would be so fun! Yeah, I'd love some ice cream. I would have to escape first, so maybe this button. Whoops! Did he teleport again? Nope! I'm right here! Gus! <gasps> you escaped! That's right! I beat the 1000 Mystery Button Challenge! Yay! Now who wants ice cream? Me! I do! <laughs> Let's get some ice cream then! Thanks for watching, little game!
Gators, see you next time! Bye! Bye.